How's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a notes database in Notion. This is one of my favorite ways to use Notion is as a notes directory. And the cool thing is, is I can reach all of my notes just by typing into the search bar and searching for any sort of topic that I want to. This is my notes database right here. So if I just search for something like Facebook ads, I'm immediately going to get all of my notes that are tagged with Facebook ads or they may have Facebook ads in the contents of the note. So like, let me just click into here really quick and show you an example. Um, if this were to say Facebook ads in here, then this would pop up uh, using that search function. Um, and yeah, this is basically where I put all of my notes and there's a lot of different ways that you can write things down and keep track of them and you can add images as you can see here um, uh, as I did on this one, I added an image. If I wanted to sort by, you know, oldest to newest, I could change this to ascending here and I could have all of my last edited um, notes in here. And if I wanted to, you know, sort by the most recent edits that I've made, I could do that. It's however you really want to organize this thing. So if you're anything like me, you probably have some notebooks laying around that are just filled with ideas, filled with, you know, sketches, different plans that you have for yourself, different goals and things like that, meeting notes, all, you know, whatever it might be. Maybe you have just like random papers laying around. I know I had a bunch of these laying around before I started doing this. And I still do have, you know, some paper laying around because I do like to write things sometimes. I think it's good to solidify something in your mind. Um, it helps if you can write it. But that being said, this Notion note-taking database has made this a lot easier. So if you stick around until the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to create this thing and basically implement this for your life. And this is going to be pretty much free. Um, you won't need the paid Notion plan unless you really get up into like using a ton of space on Notion. Um, but I didn't even need the paid plan until I brought on a team member who also needed to access my Notion. So you probably won't even need the paid version of Notion to get this thing created. So I'm gonna hop right in and I'm gonna show you how to create this notes database. So what you're gonna notice right off the bat is that this is a list or this is what they would call a list in Notion. And there are a few properties, okay? So if I click into how to make decisions notes, okay? So this is uh, notes and this is where I kind of write and I insert images and things like that but it has a few different attributes that it goes off of here. So it has last edited, it has tags, and it has note type. Okay, for note type, I have a few different note types. I have uh, deliverable meeting, idea, resource, miscellaneous meeting, sales meeting, cliff notes, and I could try to lump my notes into these different categories. And then I like to tag them with different things. Like this one says Sam Ovens, for instance. This is uh, one of the creators that I uh, like to watch and one of the entrepreneurs that I look up to. Um, and I, I was taking notes on one of his videos and you can add different covers and things like that in here. If you have a relevant image that you want to use, you can add an emoji. It's super cool because you can do everything that you would need to write down your notes. If you guys are liking this video so far, please do not forget to leave a quick like. That's what really inspires me to keep going with this channel. When I see that it's helping more people and people are actually enjoying the content, it makes it so much more enjoyable for me to make the videos and show you guys how to use these methods. So like the video and then continue watching to learn how to make that database. So let's get into building this thing. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is head to your main workspace and add in a page. Uh, so you can just hit the plus button to quickly add a page within the inside of it. And we're going to want to make this page a list, okay? And now you can see that we already are starting to develop this list of uh, where the notes are going to be, okay? So you can name this all notes or you can name it notes database or whatever you want. And then I like to add an icon. So for notes, you can just put like a notebook or something like that, that would probably make sense. And then you can add a cover, okay? And I like to add something inspirational here or maybe you can just add something related to notes. So they've got a connection with Unsplash here. So if you wanted to, you could just type in notes and it'll pull in all the note related images from Unsplash. And you can literally just pop one in here so that you have your nice little uh, setup and you can reposition it so that it's uh, relevant for you. Um, and yeah, like now this looks pretty good visually. You can add a description if you'd like to. Um, so this is the labyrinth that holds my notes. And I spelled labyrinth wrong, so let's fix that. 
<laughs> um, and boom, yeah, like this looks good. I like the way that it uh, feels. Now what I wanna do is like add in the actual notes and give these notes some content. So what I wanna do first is like maybe just start out by uh, creating a note template, okay? So the note template um, is just going to allow me to add some properties that I want to add uh, to, to categorize these notes. So for tags section here, we're just going to keep it as tags. And these are gonna be the different sort of um, things that describe your notes. So let's say we're taking notes on different animals and we wanted to uh, tag it with like lion, okay? Like this note might be about lions. So the anatomy of lions. Maybe I wanted to add an icon that's a lion and maybe I wanted to add a cover. And boom, now I have this note titled The Anatomy of Lions. It's tagged with lion. Maybe I also wanna tag it with safari, okay? And then maybe I want to add a note type, okay? This is what I have on my personal note database. Um, you could do a note type and just hit select. And under note type, maybe you name it field notes if you're studying lions, or maybe you'd wanna name it class notes if it's an in-class session or something like that. I don't know, whatever whatever you want. Uh, idea, I like to come up with random ideas and that's what was filling up my notebooks before. So I like to filter by ideas sometimes. Uh, so if you want a uh, single select where you can just select one at a time, you go with the normal select property type. Um, but if you want tags like a multi-select, make sure you just select multi-select so you can add multiple in here. Next, what you can do if you have a lot of people working on these notes is you can go in here and click person and this you can edit here and just write author and maybe add an author for this. So if I'm the author, I'm just gonna make myself the author. And yeah, from there, if you want to, you can literally just go in and start doing hierarchical notes. Uh, I have a whole video on different ways to take notes in Notion that I will link up in the corner right now if you wanna check that out. Um, it's a great video just talking about different note taking methods like mind mapping and hierarchical note taking and uh, Cornell note-taking all in Notion so check that video out if you're interested um, but what you would want to do here is just do like maybe I and then you talk about uh, lions overall and then you go into uh, you know the details of lions if you wanted to you could even click this little plus button here and you could add in all these different sort of uh, objects here um, you can add an image if you'd like to so let's say unsplash, I wanna add another image of a lion, right? Maybe I grab this one. Maybe I wanna downsize it a little bit. And then you can always drag it too so that it's part of this block on this side rather than underneath. And you can kind of move it in a little bit closer if you wanted to. Um, that's just an example of how you can go about uh, taking notes and uh, creating the property types. And then once you've created your first note and you have those different property types in there, uh, then you're good to go and you can start um, modifying this list. So as you can see, all we have right now in this section is uh, the tags for what the note is about, but you can go to properties and you can add different the different ones that you uh, put in there. So if you want to, um, you can add them like that and then you can reorder them based on what you want to come first. So tags are over here now, uh, note type is there. Uh, we've got author. I'm just going to do note type as the first one, then maybe author and then tags, just kind of break it up. Uh, and you can add an image of yourself on Notion in your settings so that you get a little picture of yourself there for the author if you'd like to. Um, but that's great, right? Because now we can see all of these notes and you can just literally come in here and add different notes in. So maybe next we wanna do the anatomy of zebras. Then you can add to your list here and we still want Africa and Safari maybe, but we just don't want Lion in there. So we added Zebra and we added those other ones that we created earlier. And then under note type, maybe we go field notes, author, Carter, and then I can come in here and I can type in all of the field notes. So Zebras are great, right? And then I could come in here and add bullet points and talk about Zebras. So you just come in on a daily basis and just enter in different notes here. If you wanted to delete a note, you just click on these three dots here and then you hit delete. And if you wanted to sort these in any particular way, you can hit sort and then you can hit add sort 
and right there you can change what property you're sorting by. So maybe you want to organize the note types. You could literally just hit note type and you could hit ascending. And then if it has like field notes and then some different note types, it would put all the field notes together. Then it would put all the cliff notes together. Then it would put all the class notes together. Um, that's kind of a bad example for this one. Let's say we wanted to sort by created, ascending. And that's just basically going to show the most recent one that we worked on first. And then it'll go down from there. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like before you leave. I really do appreciate it. And that just helps my channel out so much. So please drop a like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this on Notion.